Yeah, my last vlog, which uh, was filmed on Christmas Day, I was complaining about the terrible weather we get in North Wales. We never get any proper winters anymore. Just grey, warm, wet and horrible. But uh, what do you know, it's actually winter. <laughs> it's uh, 2nd of January. Um, it got down to 27 Fahrenheit, which is about minus two, three, is it? Centigrade. Uh, sharp frost everywhere, the fields were white. Car was frozen up. Skies are blue. It's a proper winter's day. Uh, well, last week I discovered a bushcrafter's wild camp, quite an elaborate wild camp in the forest. And uh, I'm gonna take a shifty. I brought my camera gear, didn't, have, didn't even have my phone with me. I might even rustle up a coffee, so let's see how we get on. It's, um, yeah, it was discovered quite by accident, actually. A track which I thought was a dead end, which in fact is a dead end, but I carried on exploring, trying to find a way out, and what do you know? In the forest clearing, there's a really big bushcrafter's wild camp, so come along and have a look. This is really weird. This dog will follow me to the ends of the earth, but there's something about this section of path which he absolutely hates. I'm gonna have to put him on the leash. <laughs> Fergus, what's up with you? Something about this section of path really freaks him out. You know how dogs are sensitive? Supposedly, I'm not that into ghosts and ghouls and spirits, but Dogs are supposed to be sensitive to uh, bad vibes. And he just won't follow me. <laughs> he followed me off a cliff elsewhere, but here, just this, this section of path, and it's only a short section, I'll let him off the lead soon, he'll be all right. But it's just here. <laughs> Poor fella, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry to have to do it for you, Fergus, but you'll soon be okay. We'll soon be past this difficult section. And you'll be off lead and you can uh, start wagging your tail again. You can see, there's something freaking him out about this section of path. I don't know what's happened here. There had been suicides, there was a murder victim found in an unmarked grave about two miles away. Um, perhaps there was a battle in Bronze Age, Iron Age times, or perhaps a Roman legion were ambushed and massacred. I mean, is this an old Roman road? Something bad has happened here. And he doesn't like it. Poor boy, come on, you'll be all right, we're nearly there. Yeah, you can see we've come about half a kilometer and he's right in the rain now. He's no longer freaked out, are you? You're not spooked anymore. It's just that one section that freaks him out, and it's it's a pleasant section. There's no, nothing to suggest anything uh, untoward is about to happen. There's no burrs or wolves or anything going to attack him. I'm not far now. I'm not going to say where this is because I somebody's gone to a lot of trouble to build this this uh, wild camp. Uh, I don't want to give a secret away or say where I am. Hello, if you know North Wales, you might guess. It's a, it's a forest. <laughs> a lot of foxes in this wood. He likes foxes. Not to chase. <laughs> He's not a fox hand. He just likes the smell and he likes the fox shit, basically. <laughs> if he finds something, he'll roll in it. <gasps> like, like a lot of dogs. Okay, but we're, Bit wintry, bit frosty here. Yeah, I wouldn't fancy uh, I'm a bit of a fur weather camper. Wouldn't really fancy um, dossing in this uh, these temperatures. It's below freezing.
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get my coffee. <laughs> In the woods, it's so wet. We've had such a wet winter. Everything's saturated. I'll give it a go anyway. Um, yeah, I was talking before about forests and the sp how a section of the forest spooks Fergus out. Just this one section of the path. And um, uh, forests are strange places, aren't they? I suppose it's a primordial thing where in the uh, mists of time we were frightened of, to enter the forest because it was a place of bears and wolves and brigands and it was a place of danger. So you were safer out in the open. And I must admit, personally, I'm more an outdoor person. I'm more into mountains and moors and the wide open spaces. Forests are strange places. I love them. I love being in the forest, but I, I still have that um, feeling of unease in the forest. It's strange. Anyway, um, yeah, I was saying before, it's quite sad that a lot of young men especially come into these places, come into forests, particularly this one, to take their own lives. Um, I'm sort of veering onto the sort of, um, sorry, the dog's got his usual stick obsession. Y yeah, I'm veering into the uh, Hayes Outdoors show your state territory here, so bear with me. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, Hayes Outdoors, brilliant channel, uh, lovely guy. Uh, he happened upon or thought of this great idea where macho outdoor bushcrafty people go out into the woods or the outdoors is usually the woods and cook a steak or a nut cutlet if you're a vegetarian and talk about men's mental health which uh big butch men don't normally talk about their innermost thoughts do they it tends to be uh women who tend to be more open and honest about their, their mental health. So consequently, men are three times more likely under the age of 50 to commit suicide than women. And it's the biggest cause of death uh, amongst uh, men. More suicide kills more men than car crashes, cancer, anything, wars even, um, certainly in the Western world. So it's, um, yeah, it was a brilliant idea of old Hazy to come up with and he got it became pretty viral people all over the world big names like Joe Robinette in America and a lot of the American bushcrafty people were talking about um, men's mental health while while uh, indulging in their uh, culinary skills and it's a, it's a great uh, it was a brilliant idea actually well I'm not doing shows your state because it's uh, it's a couple of, I'm sorry it's two or three months on now and uh, I suppose it's a bit, uh, it's past its sell-by date as far as I'm concerned. Although the idea, the concept's not past your sell-by date, but I'm a bit late to the party if I'm going to start frying the steak in the woods. And besides, I don't eat red meat anyway. I tend to, uh, I eat chicken and fish. So I'm a, I think they call it a Piscan, Apollo Piscan vegetarian, which is a ridiculous a ridiculous term because you're not a vegetarian if you eat chicken and fish so uh, I would be, have to cook a, a piece of fish or something if I was doing it but um, yeah I think the whole point of the uh, show is state challenge was that men should be able to go out and talk about talk about their state of mind and what they've been through personally share it with them even if they haven't even if they're fortunate enough to come through life unscathed to talk about people they might have known who have <coughs> suffered from depression. And the idea is just to say to people, say to guys out there, that you're not alone. Um, you might think you are, but <laughs> there's always someone to talk to. Um, even if it's not a member of your family or a friend, you know, talk to... Um, Talk to somebody, even if it's Samaritans or Mind or somebody, or even if it's someone like me or Hazy, if you want to send a private message if you're at the end of your tether. So, yeah, that was what Shows Your Steak was about, and uh, credit to old Hazy for a brilliant concept. So, yeah, anyway, I, I, 
I hope you like this <laughs> this campsite. It's a great little campsite actually. I might come here in the spring and uh, pitch a tent, bring the dog, pitch a tent and uh, I might have some dry wood by then and get a fire going and actually be able to rustle something up on the on the fire. Anyway, I'll uh, talk to you later. Okay, see you for now. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, we're going the uh, going the wild way out of here. Come on, you. Don't forget your stick. Whatever you do. There's a faint track going this way. Into the heart of the forest. Oh, God. Well, back at the van. Um, yeah, it's still a beautiful day, absolutely gorgeous. Very cold, that's why I've got my buffalo on, which I only wear when it's really cold. I uh, hope all the footage comes out and it makes a interesting vlog, so I'll catch you again. See ya.